All right. Hello, everyone. This is Shane Gibson. I'm stepping in today for Rob Hirschfeld to help chair the uh, Kubernetes uh, SIG cluster ops. Um, we have a, a group of folks with us today, um, a, a bunch of new faces, and welcome to everybody who's new, uh, myself included. Um, we're going to go ahead and since we're a little bit past the top of the hour, we're going to jump right over to Jim Connor, who is going to talk a little bit about the demo uh, that was in discussion in previous uh, meetup. Uh, so Jim, go ahead. Okay, this won't be too long. Um, I wanted to go ahead and just confirm that we, we are on track to do a demo for a tool that we are the proprietors of called Kraken. It's an open source tool. Um, the, the details of that demo are a little bit sketchy to me. I'm not really sure having been really new to this, this, um, this SIG, I don't know exactly what everybody wants to see. So, um, I can wing it or, or we can wing it. That's not a problem. I just need to have some information with respect to like, uh, any details of expectation about how long we should expect it to go. What are some specific things that people are interested in seeing, if anything, and uh, and any other details that would be interesting or, or uh, good for us to know, so that I can whittle that into the demo. That's that's it. So if you have any information question, there, uh, yeah, a question for you first. Um, um, I'm not familiar familiar with Kraken, so can you give me just the elevator pitch on what it is? Uh, what is it you're going to be demoing? Sure. So so Kraken is a a tool that can bring up a very large sized cluster with Kubernetes and, and essentially a, a, a single soup of the command line. Um, you, you edit a config that you can generate and then you tell it to go and it goes and creates your cluster. So it makes and, that deployment rather simple. Okay. And does it, uh, um, is it able to realize uh, high availability mechanisms as well? I mean, that's always sort of the Achilles heel of any sort of implementation uh, deployment uh, installation tool. I, I believe the answer to that question would be yes. Um, it, it, it's very, uh, when it comes up in the master plane, the master plane is in complete AJ. Along with you know, the etcd server, the API, everything is part up in HA. So, and that's configurable as well. It doesn't have to be HA. It just depends on how you set up your configuration for etcd. Or sure. correction for, uh, for Kraken. So yes, yes it does. And of course, it's in heavy development. So uh, okay. we're, we're working on it every single day. And it's also, again, it's an open source tool. So, so we really, really are looking to, to try and get it kind of more advertised to the world because we're very interested in having contributors to the, the tool. So. Okay. Uh, and so is, uh, it's open source, but is it um, primarily backed by um, Samsung? I mean, is that one of the, the primary contributors to it currently? That is correct. We have an entire team. We have a couple of teams actually working on the tool as well. So we'll, we'll do all the PRs and submit the PRs and merge the PRs as they come in. Hey, and is okay. it uh, like cloud oriented more or less or bare metal as well? So we're currently working on the bare metal implementation, but we do currently support AWS and GKE. <clears throat> and, uh, and again, like I said, we're in the process of trying to extend it always. So we're, we're really interested in getting more cloud agnostic as we move forward with it. Okay. And so uh, what aspects of it are you looking to demo? Well, so that's kind of the purpose of my question, right? Um, I can certainly demo bringing up a cluster, uh, how to generate a config, um, what to do to edit the config, bring it up, take a look at it, see what it can do. But I'm really curious about what the community might be interested in seeing what Kraken can do. And then maybe we could answer those questions as well. So it's kind of a, it's a, kind of a two-sided question I'm looking for, what we can provide and what the community is interested in seeing. Sure. I, I think it would be great to uh, have some feedback on how it differs from other tools like, say, COPS, for example. Because, you yeah. know, there, there so are that, quite a few of them already on the market. So, so the question is, why is, would it be reasonable to consider tracking? Okay, probably Kube admin as well. Yeah. So we're in the process of actually trying to... Uh, to take advantage of kube admin as well in Kraken. So 
um, we, we're really trying to make sure that we have a tool that's very useful to the community. So um, I can certainly look into that. I can get some comparisons and, and see if we can work that in. I might have to request a push out uh, as far as a date. Um, I'll let you know about that. I, I told okay. Rob it was a tentative one month out and that is probably still okay. But let me, I need to just double check with my team along with my current workload to make sure that that's something that's deliverable at that time. Okay, um, where, I'm, when were I'm you? I'm curious, are there any other tools that we'd like to see compared to? We've mentioned two, but are there others? Uh, Coop spray. Coop spray. I'll get that out. Any others? Because I think that that's, those are the ones I've heard of. I've never heard of any others besides those. Hi. Uh, uh, yeah, there are others, but. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to add like, a, so we have been also working on a similar kind of tool like a COPS, but uh, using uh, Cube admin, the Cube ADM. So it's actually available on our website. I'm going to still sort of let Larry, but uh, uh, I'll, I'll be very excited to talk to you and see if maybe, you know, I mean, we have sort of similar goals, <clears throat> okay. uh, but uh, based on Cube admin, yeah. I think it also kind of touches the whole topic of the uh, cluster API and uh, uh, node admission in general, because those are also the concepts that, that will revolve around maintenance of the cluster and also spinning the cluster up. Uh, so, so I wonder uh, if you've already uh, investigated those well, new APIs that are showing up inside of uh, Kubernetes and probably are to some or will be to some extent utilized by Kubeadm, for example, uh, for your uh, provisioning uh, solution. Uh, can you tell us like which API are you talking about? As I said, cluster API, which was supposed to be on the agenda for today, but, uh, but I don't think we have anyone who actually uh, knows it. <laughs> um, and, uh, and the node admission in general, so, so defining the state of the cluster inside of the API itself, I think that that's where Kubadm uh, goes and that's where COPS also wants to be, uh, to have like a common uh, layer of configuration within the API and then have it instantiated with uh, tools like Qubed or, uh, or COPS or, or whatever else. Okay, so excellent discussions. Um, Jim, I'm not sure I can guide you exactly what the, the typical recommendation is uh, with this meetup group's uh, guidelines for how long the demo should run. I'm going to say it's probably 15 to 20 minutes tops, uh, typically within an hour demo like this, um, simply because you know there's usually two to four agenda items. And, and I'm going to guess that's probably going to be what your target range you're going to be looking for. So you're going to want to kind of compress that down pretty quickly. Um, to around 15 or 20 minutes is, is going to be my guess in, in terms of guidance from running some of the other uh, meetup groups that I run uh, when we try and run it a one hour online sort of session. Um, okay. I can drop uh, Rob uh, a note out of, uh, out of bands and just ask him uh, if that's in line and I'll have him touch base with you if it's outside of that. But that's what I would suggest targeting for and typically you're going to want to do around like 15 minutes for the demo and then five minutes for kind of Q and a afterwards. Uh, Cause it sounds like uh, an interesting tool that touches um, uh, a number of big areas and, and topics and it's very good discussion in regards to uh, node admission uh, and cluster API integrations as well. Cause those are some of the really new uh, interesting uh, API components around Kubernetes. And so there'll probably be some good feedback and questions around that area. Um, and it's an awfully big ask because it's an installation is a big task and especially if you're going to do any comparisons. Um, but I, hopefully that gives you sort of an idea of, of a ballpark to look at for a target. Um, and if there's some interest in some follow up like more detailed or specific kind of demos and uh, other areas, I think that you guys would probably be able to get on the agenda uh, for uh, future data in that regard. Okay. Uh, 
I yeah, also think fair. that uh, really important aspect uh, of uh, also of, of the uh, Sigor work group uh, um, is actually the day two of the operation. So how the tool can uh, help after <laughs> you initially provision the cluster. Like I was saying, this is, it can become a really big topic, right? <laughs> There's a sure. lot of, uh, but that, that's actually an extremely zero, day one, important day two, part of the system. Because they want, we, we're always talking uh, a lot about the installation, but effectively yeah. the installation is just the first day of your work with the cluster. And then right. you have rolled the uh, group of nodes, you have to update them, you have to uh, maintain the health of the cluster, or you might want to migrate it or, or scale the groups or add different groups. And there's there's a huge amount of uh, stuff that that actually comes after the cluster installation. I would imagine that since this is sig, sig cluster ops, that's probably the more interesting aspects of yeah. the cluster itself. So that's noted. Okay. Uh, do we um, do we have enough uh, folks on the the line? Uh, for the meetup here that we have any idea we want to what we want to cover with bug scrub and the uh, issues uh, on github kubernetes kubernetes under the sig cluster ops so I, I think a thundering silence is I think we're going to table and defer uh, bug scrub uh, on that as well uh, okay excellent so that was easy all right bug scrub done <laughs> I love it all right, um, last we had cluster API. And again, I think there's not enough uh, domain knowledge with whom we have on board at the moment to uh, give it much justice uh, in terms of cluster API, what we wanted to discuss, because uh, it sounds like it's a fairly, go ahead. I'm very curious about that. It's actually the first time I've ever heard of it, a cluster API. Um, and Erratic, you seem to know a little bit more about it than well, definitely than I do. Could you at least maybe just explain a little bit about it? I don't really know that much about it. That That's the problem. Uh, and I actually hope that someone will be here who, who worked a bit with it. Uh, I know that uh, around COPS and uh, uh, Kubadm, uh, there was work done to have things stored inside Kubernetes, uh, inside the API, uh, so that uh, that you don't have all of that information for spinning nodes in the cluster, managing the cluster, living outside of the cluster itself, uh, but to have it inside of the cluster as full-blown Kubernetes objects. Uh, and, uh, and I've seen some pull requests, I think, around it or, or something like that, but I really don't recall that. I've never worked with it uh, more directly or, or investigated it. So, so I know that's that the general idea is that the, the guys working on those tools uh, want to leverage Kubernetes API and uh, essentially transfer into tools that instantiate what Kube API uh, holds inside. I'll dig into that a little bit and see if we can get more information. Uh, I, I was a fly on the wall for at least one of their meetings. I believe they're a working group, part of uh, the cluster lifecycle SIG. Yep. Uh, yeah, and which actually touches back uh, to uh, Radic's uh, discussion or, or point about uh, day two ops. You know, cluster lifecycle is very much tied into ongoing uh, operations and management of the cluster's lifecycle, hence cluster lifecycle SIG. Um, any other thoughts or conversations? Well, not from me at the moment. Okay. Well, everyone, uh, appreciate all of your time and bearing with uh, me as a, a newbie to chairing an, an unknown uh, meetup group. I appreciate your patience. patience. And uh, as I promised, uh, Jim, I will follow up with uh, Rob Hirschfeld about guidance on timeline and verification on schedule. Actually, a good question on that. I did not record um, when you were...
uh, originally planning to potentially demo versus when you feel you can demo. So if you had any info on that before we wrap up, I'll get that in front of Rob as well for yeah. uh, feedback for you. Yeah, okay, that's that's actually good because um, two weeks ago, it was gonna be a month out, so that means I have two weeks until we have to do the demo. Realistically, I think it'd be better if we could even push it out another month or so because we, we had to get some approvals on our side to make sure everything was good for doing the, the demo and that took a little bit longer than we expected, so. If, in fact, and, and I know he's expecting to do a demo for the next three months. So let's let's see if we can push out a month. If we can't, if we can go, well, let's just check for a month. We'll ask him if we okay, can do so, a month, and if we can't, then we'll figure something out. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll say that you guys are looking for around the first of December. Um, I don't know what the current schedule is for the the follow up meetings in terms of demos and where it fits in. So I can't make you any promises. Um, but I will definitely get that in front of them and we'll get um, an answer back to you as quickly as possible on that as we can. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I appreciate that um, and okay. apologize. Yeah. For that. No worries, no worries. Um, uh, I'm not in a position to, uh, <laughs> to say much about that. So uh, anyone else have any other agenda items that weren't necessarily on the uh, uh, cluster ops uh, documentation that you want to talk about while we have this uh, the channel open and we can all sort of uh, discuss. No. Okay. So my understanding is, yeah. Okay. So it looks like on November 16th, um, they were initially have you penciled in as crack and K2 demo and discussion. Uh, as we discussed previously, uh, I'll talk with um, Rob about that specific timeline and, and the two week extension that you guys are looking for. Um, the operational bug scrub, which we did not get around to today for lack of knowledgeable participants, is also listed again on the topic for the November 16th meetup. Uh, and I suspect that we'll probably uh, push the cluster API conversation to uh, the agenda for the November 16th as well. And so with that being said, uh, thank you very much, everyone. appreciate your time. And we will get the notes and the video recording such as it is posted back out to the rest of the uh, members of the meetup that weren't able to attend with us and have a fantastic day and a great weekend we'll talk to you guys again on november 16th in the meantime okay, bye. see you later